My aloe with one. Jeez, you're tipping already. One sec. How make this tight? <laughs> All right, look, today's video is about fire safety, yeah? Because <clears throat> I set fire to some bay leaves last night. I'm still with Jenny from the black. <laughs> I set fire to some bay leaves last night, yeah? Safely, okay? Do not try that at home. Unless you are being safe, yeah. I didn't want setting fire to things like for fun. I did some magic spells, yeah. So I think it's only right I go through fire safety with you, okay? I got it all written down. <laughs> um, it's probably gonna come at no surprise to you that I actually own, I actually own fire extinguishers. I've got a couple here, yeah. From the beginning to the end, I will go through them with you. Don't have them all, but they're all as well. Like different fire extinguishers, yeah. They labeled in different colors now, yeah. They never used to be, they are now, okay. Fire safety is very important. You must practice fire safety. Oh man, I never went through what, what, you know what, yeah. Look up, yeah, what causes a fire, yeah. The concussion that causes a fire, okay. So like oxygen, do you know what I mean? A flame, you know what I'm saying? A spark and something else, yeah? Look that up so you know what causes that, yeah? I was meant to write that down. I wanna say this though, yeah? I wanna say this first. You can get, yeah, like little, um. you can get like loads of like fire safety types of dishes, yeah? You can get stuff like that, yeah? So if you are burning, doing magical practices, I don't know, whatever it is you're doing, yeah, where you set it light to things or something like that, because that's what we do over here, yeah? <laughs> you, in magic spells and that, you, you, you can get fire safety dishes and stuff, yeah? All right, check your material, check everything is safe, yeah? All right, that's the first thing. The next thing I want to mention this is, is yeah, is... Yes, when you when you you can light things with lighters, you can get long ones, barbecue ones, things like that, yeah. When you yeah, um when you when you yeah, put out a match or something like that, yeah. Make sure you rinse it under water, yeah. Don't do that and throw it in the bin, yeah. Don't do that and then just chuck it away. Make sure you extinguish it in water, yeah. Could do that with your ashtrays as well, yeah. Extinguish them and stuff like that before you chuck them away. Stops the scent coming out in your house as well, yeah. Make sure you do that. If you can smoke outside, that's good. If you can't, make sure you extinguish it in water or something, yeah. Don't just chuck it in the bin. My grandmother actually knew someone that set fire to their house. A lady she set fire to her to her to her house, yeah, like that. Like she she lit like the gas cooker, yeah. She lit like a gas cooker, yeah, and she, she went like that with a match and she threw it in a bin, do you know what I mean? And set fire to her kitchen, yeah? So it's very important. Fire safety is very, very, very important. I should have done this beforehand, okay? <clears throat> but that's all right. And what I'll do is I'll do spiritual stuff on my blog, yeah? But what I'll do, yeah, for you is I'll put this information there as well as we will be doing more spells and concoctions in the future, Okay? so yeah that's about it also yeah keep when i say you can get different dishes and things like that okay i've got an incense burner yeah which has a top on it yeah that's fire safe has a top on it so the flame isn't naked yeah um you know keep them out of reach of children pets oil burners as well things like that yeah make sure yeah that you don't go to sleep with candles on things like that do you know what i mean I have done that before, that's worrying. Things like your cooker as well, make sure you turn that off. Turn it off, okay? Like, stuff like that, don't leave the gas on, yeah? All right? You can also get, like, little safety tops. Like, if you do have kids or you yourself, yeah, you get little safety tops for, like, your candles. If you get lids to your candles and stuff like that, yeah, don't chuck them away. You can also get candle, Um, I love candles in it, so that's why I want to tell you all this as well. In case, you know what I mean? You're just someone that messes with candles, yeah? Naked flames and all that. Um, see, like, see, like, your candles, yeah? 
you can get candle kind of kits yeah where you like you get like trimming kits where you get like a pair of scissors for trimming yeah the wicks wick trimmers make sure candles last longer actually don't cut it too low though because when you set it up it's hard to get it and you kind of have to dig it out do you know what i mean the the yeah the the, the wick yeah <laughs> all right <laughs> okay so <laughs> So you can do that, yeah? <laughs> you can get that and you can get snuffers in it, yeah? That snuff out the candle, yeah? Some people like to do their fingers, but you can get actual snuffers and they come in kits. They come with a trimmer. They come with a tweezer, yeah? So like we was holding with them, the, the pliers that was, them ones were for hair extensions. Them ones were all right, do you know what I mean? What I was using, but um, I think they were. I hope they were. Check, make sure you check, make sure you check, yeah? I'm gonna get into checks in a minute um but yeah you can get get these kits yeah where you get snuffers that snuff out candles okay i also heard one lady say you shouldn't blow out a candle or something because they're spirits i don't know birthday candles you probably all right always make a wish if you're gonna blow it out yeah always make a wish yeah at least yeah all right <laughs> okay yeah, so snuffer, tweezer, it comes with a wick trimmer. You can get stuff like that, yeah, to care for and put out your candles. Fire safety dishes, told you about that, yeah, different plates, tops, yeah. All that care for around kids, okay. We've gone through that. Um, there's something else I want to say to you. Make sure as well upon purchasing your fire safety equipment, yeah, that you do all the checks you know how to use it beforehand preferably even when you pick it up it's good to have a read but if you set a light to something you don't have time okay you don't really have time like if you do yeah do it but you know what i mean if there's if, if all hell breaks loose okay that's a problem yeah don't sleep with candles on don't go out with candles on do you know what i mean don't leave your pets alone with it, it only takes them to knock the table if you thought oh, i'm only running out for 10 minutes they knock the table so it's come off your places are blazing so are they okay really really important all right so yeah i keep a couple um as i say nowadays they're like color labeled yeah which i'm going to go through with you so it's a lot more easier to determine what you you know what i'm saying what you're picking up yeah um make sure as well another thing is you are getting all your gas safety checks every single year make sure yeah that all your smoke alarms work okay make sure as well fridges too I don't know if you know about a Grenfell, something to do with the fridge and whatever. Whatever it was, yeah, okay, whatever it was, these days, fridges now, yeah, they have to have a certain type of backing to them. And I'm pretty sure, yeah, that if you call up your council or your housing association or wherever you live in, I don't know, the fire brigade can give you more information 100%, yeah, they will tell you more about that. Do you know what I mean? Fire safety fire safety things yeah like what types of material your 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 appliance should be and things like that okay all right because they them things fridges as well even though it's cold in the fridge best believe all them electrics if you ever pulled out a fridge you see all the electrics in the back that heats up if you ever touch the back of your fridge the inside's cold the back of it can get hot yeah all right because it's pumping in a lot of electric yeah to keep to keep to keep the inside cold yeah so that i said that the back of it can be quite hot yeah so if you've ever done that then you know in it that's why all right i'm trying to think if there's anything else yeah it's your smoke alarms things like that there's different smoke alarms as well that detect different things yeah there's smoke alarms that detect fire smoke there's there's smoke alarms that will detect fire smoke but not cigarette smoke yeah um there was once yeah before i was living in hostel yeah when i was younger there was one yeah that detects yeah they don't detect cigarette smoke you're allowed to smoke in your rooms they don't detect cigarette smoke but they do smoke they do detect cannabis smoke yeah it knows the difference <laughs> trust me yeah all right so you need to know what smoke alarm okay you need to know what smoke alarm is good for what okay and you need to make sure they they work okay things like that you know all right sometimes as well when you grill food do you know what i mean it can be quite sensitive as well if you grill all right then cool lovely yeah so different ones for different things yeah get your checks okay so the first one i'm going to get into it yeah 
the first one yeah i've got here you can get these in different sizes right this is h2o yeah h2o um h2o what i'll say here what i'll say here hydrosphere yes h2o is what you find in the hydrosphere in earth yeah the air yeah the, the sea yeah water yeah this is what i've got now you can get loads of different i've got mini ones just for myself yeah but you can get loads of different sizes of fire extinguishers yeah you can even get packs of them okay always leave them somewhere that is accessible where people can see them okay make sure again you know how to use them beforehand okay read them all right you put them somewhere people can see them and the other thing is as well make sure yeah you know what i'm saying you know where all the x's 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 are you know what i'm saying label them do you know what i mean if you have a workplace or something label them i want to i want to say this as well to you um ventilation yeah ventilation if you're in a confined space, yeah, you need good ventilation. You need to be caring for your fans, yeah. You need to make sure all your fans work properly, especially if you're in hair and beauty salon as well. Whatever it is you're doing, yeah. But if you're working with chemicals and things like that, yeah, a lot of these products and that, they have chemicals in and stuff, yeah. You need to make sure, yeah, they don't know you're in a nail salon, a hair salon, something like that, yeah. You need to make sure that you have good ventilation, okay. You really need to make sure about that, yeah? Open the door. I don't know if you don't have a fan. Open the door, something. If you're blow-drying some Brazilian thing, relaxing thing, I don't know, yeah? But make sure you have good ventilation. You should have that in your ha home anyway, and the fans are working correctly, okay? That can cause mold. If you've got a mold problem, your fans might not... You know what I mean? You might need to get an upgrade on your fans, okay? Okay? Because too much condensation be causing that. Okay, so I got this one here, very simple. Now, you do not use this, yeah? You do not use this in the kitchen, okay? This is something, a lot of people, when there's a fire, they think, oh, let's just go get a bucket of water. Do you know what I mean? But, okay, I'm gonna go through that with you. I also have a fire blanket, yeah? We've got to go through the ones I have first. Yes, sorry, you can get these type of things, yeah? From like, I don't know, if you've got, oh, got some one of your catalogs, yeah? That do sofas, electricals, this, that, and the other, yeah? okay you can go get packs ebay amazon i don't know whatever you got yeah you can go get packs of of, of fire extinguishers of a mini size as well do you know what i mean so they're personal yeah very important okay um yes um good to have a couple of ladders and all um all right so yeah h2o in the hydrosphere let me tell you this I'm looking at my notes in it, yeah. So it's water, yeah. So it's good on wood, paper, textiles. Textiles also see fabrics, okay. Um, you 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 do not use this on live electrical equipment, okay. So if you have a cooker that is ablaze, yeah, you do not use water on it, all right. You do you don't do that, all right. You don't use it on live electrical equipment, okay. All right lovely all right so you don't do that okay uh, yeah color labels i told you that all right then cool dry powder also this is a red label yeah all right dry dry powder yeah you use it on you use dry powder okay which is a blue label and you use it on wood paper textiles okay um you use it on flammable liquids as well okay because the powder absorbs the liquid okay um so you'd use it on such things as i don't know satin light so imagine something was a light and you had a hairspray bottle there polish remover alcohol yeah it's like with that uh, contained alcohol flammable liquid yeah it's gonna absorb it for you okay yeah i mentioned ventilation to to you yeah you might want a blue label you might want a blue label if you a uh, blue label extinguisher, dry powder extinguisher if you work in a hair salon or somewhere where there is flammable liquid. Okay. Um, also, if you want to remember these types of things, it's good to make up little games in your mind, little songs, yeah, so you can remember them. Okay. Alright. Um, yeah. 
yeah on gaseous fire on gaseous fires because they 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 because of the powder how it creates it absorption yeah so i don't know maybe you've got you've got electric um yeah gaseous fires all right gaseous fires okay um now foam foam is usually a beige label okay you use this yeah you use this on like on like wood yeah like wood and, and stuff like that yeah paper textiles again you do not use yeah the beige label foam okay on flammables okay you do not use it on flammables or electrics yeah because because yeah yeah electrics that are a flame yeah because yeah it's wet foam is wet yeah so what's that gonna do it's gonna cause more of a problem and hassle for you yes yeah? so you don't do that all right okay next year we have co2 gas this is a black label okay and what co2 gas is it's a chemical compound that is present in the earth yeah um at, 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 in small amounts yeah um is is when it when it's in its solid form yeah it's like uh it's like it's like dry ice yeah so you think of it like when all hell freezes over that's what i think of it like yeah black label co2 gas yeah it's present in the earth okay when all hell freezes over okay like dry ice okay um you use it on flammable things, yeah, like a rising fire, yeah, something that is 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 like um, electrical, yeah. You wouldn't use this on wood, paper, textiles, okay, flammable metals, or or um, yeah, like confined spaces okay you don't use it because it's a gas yeah you don't use this on confined spaces yeah all right again make sure you test clearly okay your 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 um stuff here yeah? make sure it's all testing working you can can be pulling everything out as a matter of fact i can see like i just said that yeah perfect example i've just spotted that that's got that on it. Imagine if I couldn't get scissors on off that to get that off. So I need to cut that off that immediately in a minute. In fact, just as a demonstration to you, do you get me? This what you do. This this what this what you do, people. Yeah. One set. This is what hearing the promptings is, yeah? Like, oh, you yeah, still got to do that. Nah, just do it, yeah? Look, look, I'm making this accessible for me, yeah? Checking I know how to use it. Checking that that is going to be ready for me, yeah? In the event of a fire. If I didn't do that right now, that would not be ready for me in the event of a fire. These nails are doing my nothing as well. I only put them on this morning. Come on there okay that's now ready for me in the event of a fire okay yeah very important oh i gotta do that now nah, just do it all right all right cool yes make sure yes you check all the labels and what in the world see see you have to do the checks people let me put that back in there oh i see this is what you do you pull it out and then you all right like a spray yeah, that's, that's the red label. That's the water. All right, then. We're going to take this to yellow, okay? Yellow is used on wet, it's, 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 uh, wet chemical, yeah? It's wet chemical. Um, you can use it on cooking oil, okay? You can use it on cooking oil, wood, paper, textiles, etc., um yeah you you see so read properly yeah you have to discourage the entire contents onto the fire 
yeah at le at least yeah at a one meter distance okay you gotta stand back from that all right because it's kind of wet as well yeah wet chemical yellow okay so i was i guess it'll probably like kind of rise and then reduce yeah all right it's a yellow label wet chemical all right another thing that wasn't mentioned it was actually not mentioned when i was going through all this by the way health and safety is a unit i've covered many times in beauty therapy in hairdressing okay this this is a unit and barbering this is a unit that i've covered okay i've taken three tests on this so i just want to give you peace of mind if you see me looking down my nose i just want to make sure i'm telling you the right thing nonetheless you need to double check for yourself okay very important yeah these nails bro <laughs> never mind talking about safety now don't mind yes also yeah don't be trying to take things with you and things like that yeah okay get out yeah your life is way more important okay than any any things yeah all right it's all good yeah another thing that was wasn't mentioned that i really want to mention is this i own one of these this is a fire blanket okay you pull it out like this okay what this does okay is if, if a chip pan or something like that is a blaze yeah in your kitchen yeah this one's good for kitchen i keep actually these in my hallway so they're inside people can see it yeah people can see it okay this what you do yeah and i can also access it from all areas of of my home if you could put it somewhere central in your home okay somewhere where you know is easily accessible don't just throw it under the kitchen sink okay what what this does yeah if a chip pan was ablaze or something like that in the kitchen you can throw it over it yeah another thing you can do with this as well is you can put it over yourself okay if you had to run through a fire you can put this on yourself or your kids or whoever i don't know pick up the dog whatever yeah okay and you can and you can and you can go through the fire with this yeah hopefully it doesn't get to that all right but a fire blanket so i always keep h2o i always keep fire blanket all right okay make sure as well you double check the information okay make sure as i said you know i'm gonna say it again to you you know how to use all your extinguishers correctly all right i hope that was informative for you all right i'm i'm glad i'm thinking is there anything else i need to tell you yeah make accessible make accessible that place what is this yeah all right fire safety really important i'm happy i've gone through that with you now all right all right